He gets happy from being mean to children? No, don't flirt in the group conversation. Stop it. Is Cedric trying to kiss him? <gasps> And welcome back to another episode of Academic Adventures. We're back after a pretty long break, a couple month break. If for some reason you don't watch the main series and only watch the mini series, um, a lot has happened. Um, we're with William right now and it is just William now in this house because I'm gonna make him practice some stuff for his class that he's got in a few minutes or an hour or so. So Alice May's mother passed away, Queen Amira. That was William's aunt. Alice May is now queen of Windenburg um, and therefore had to drop out of school. A lot of people have asked if she will finish online. I don't think so. Um, I, I understand like the want for her to, to kind of finish that but I just, it doesn't really apply to, like she didn't need to go to college. Also, I kind of like the dropout rep. You know, college isn't for everybody and if you've got other plans or like another method of what you're gonna do, that's okay. Oh my gosh, she would've, although she, okay, hold on. She would've been the first monarch to get her degree, wouldn't she? Listen, I want the dropout rep, but I also, you know, I understand the want for her to be the first monarch with the college degree, so. You know what, I thought I had decided but let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be open to maybe considering something else. And you know, if she doesn't end up going back to school, maybe that can be something for her heir. So, um, yeah. Well, well let, me, let me know what you think. Okay, William's practicing his presentation, but the quality is poor. Okay, refined and organized. Let's, let's get that organized, William. He signed up for a new term. So now this episode is taking place. Okay, so it's the next term. I think when we stopped the academic adventures series it was like spring right a couple months have passed it was like winter or spring or something like that so Cedric had not gone back to school because his mother just passed away um, and there was just so much going on with his family and stuff so we're gonna go see him at a high school at, at the Alliance prep school and it, it's gonna be like his first week back at school since everything happened William has been doing he finished the rest of his classes online this is a new term um, but he was able to finish everything from the last term kind by going back and forth. So now he's he's practicing his presentation, but I, I think we need to refine and organize this. So William, since so much has been going on, you know, him and his boyfriend, JC, they've, they're still together, but I don't think they've like seen each other as much now that he's back at school. They've seen each other a bit more. And I was holding off having JC meet his family, meet William's family for so long because I wanted it to happen in the academic, academic adventures. And I think we're gonna have it happen tonight. It is a Wednesday night. Um, but I don't think Windenburg is that far from Brightchester. And you know, they're, they're rich. They've got their means of transportation. Well, I guess it is kind of far, isn't it? <laughs> we're, we're gonna go to William's parents' house for dinner after he gets out of class. Oh, oh, you should be, oh my God, you're missing class. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize, oh, you're off to class. What time did that start? Three. <gasps> Oh my God, he's like an hour late to class. That's my bad. I was having you refine it. Oh, now it's normal. I was having you refine and organize this and now I made you late for class. Okay, so we are now at the Duke and Duchess of Winnenberg's house. I don't think I've shown this house in an episode yet. This was made by Alice and it's beautiful. This is their new household. So technically William's new house, um, or, but we're gonna say it's been here the entire time. Also, most of them are still wearing their funeral clothes. Um, I, I need to change that. This is sad, so it's still hard to get used to the fact that Amir is not here anymore, but that was just a reminder. Um, I need to make sure to, so William's going to, I feel like if he's probably, JC has probably met William's parents before at the very least, but let's just, you know, Double check, because I think, I, I hate that it, howdy introduction short. Benji, Benji's here. We are going to see Alice May. We're also going to see Cedric, um, not only like now, but of course later. Okay, so it's basically just like a, a Winnenberg siblings and their kids. Of course, 
you know, we don't have Amira anymore, but Jabari, Alice, May, Cedric are all here. Obviously, they're all still family. Um, is JC here though? I feel like they probably would have arrived together, but it might take a second for him to show up. And I just want to make sure you have a relationship with all your aunts and uncles and everything, right? Let's just double check that. Talk about sunny weather. You and Caspian. I've kind of said this before. Discuss logic puzzles. Maybe they are getting along a little bit better. Oh, also, this is a Oh, no, it's not. I was gonna say this is a peek at Caspian's new hair. I thought I changed. Yeah, I definitely did. It might just not have a, um, attached to all his outfits. There we go. Okay, you guys are being eased into this. By the six year time skip in the main series when season three returns, he's gonna have facial hair. He's gonna look different, but I think we're gonna keep that hair. So just a heads up, there are some changes to be had because there is a six year time skip. All right, yeah, you need to get to know. Like, make sure you know your aunts and uncles and everything. Fallon, come on, you, you, we, we gotta, we gotta make this work. Don't joke about engine. Oh, discuss importance of family. Yes. Oh, that went away. That, I don't know where that is now. Brighton Day. Where are you? We've got Cedric, who we're going to pay attention to more in a second. Cedric, why are you flirty? Uh-oh. Is that foreshadowing what we're about to see in this episode? Okay, JC is here. It is go time. He's like waiting for William to introduce him. Oh, is William going to put stuff on the buffet table first? Let's do that. Uh, discuss family lineage. Be like, all right, here's the deal. I have a lot of on and uncles and cousins and a second cousins that are also other second cousins and then they're related to this family. Don't worry about any of that. Just act like they're a regular family. <laughs> He's like, listen, okay, do you, do you get that? Do you understand? Is that is that okay with you? JC's like, oh, I, okay, I think so. Here's the thing I remembered though. JC hates children. <laughs> Um, and there's children here, so this should be interesting, and I don't know if this is gonna be an issue, because I'm curious, like, how much they hate children if they say they, they hate children. I mean, obviously, probably a lot, but I just, you know, William definitely wants children. Um, so, let's see how this goes. Oh my god, wait, I can show off pet meet Benji. Before anybody else, you need to meet Benji for- Ben- Oh my god, Benji's like, yes, I heard my name. <laughs> this is the most obedient dog. <laughs> my dog, Bubbles, right there, literally a donut behind me. It depends. Sometimes he'll come when you call his name, especially when the apartment. If we're outside and there's other stuff going on, one time he got out, I had to shake a bag of food to get him near me, and thank goodness he is, like, so food-driven. Oh my god, wait, wait, this is adorable! Okay, oh, oh, and, oh, and we do have another toddler so Samuel by the way Samuel how long do you have until you age up also are you older than Oshi oh four days that's really soon Wait, maybe we should just have his birthday. I'll think about it. We'll see. We, we oh, hates being carried little singer and clingy Um, we still have to wait wait child Talk to stranger. Let's see what will happen here. We still have to see Cedric, so we, we have a lot to get through in this episode, but, uh, you know, we want to see how this goes. Okay, so he's like, hey, hey, my cousin's boyfriend. Oh, he's talking to him. Okay, is this is this cool with you? Are we good? Say nonsense. Let's, I, I, okay, I have to see what his buffs are. Wait, I need to introduce you to the rest of the family. Ooh, he's confident from cool lineage, from discussing family lineage. Learning about family history can be incredibly empowering. JC is certainly feeling uplifted now. He's like, wow, this is a lot. There's a lot going on here. All right, how do I introduce you? Oh my God, oh my God, wait, what? Felix? Cambridge, not now, not at this family gathering. What the heck? Okay, all right, parents should not be watching. Parents should be breaking this up. Where are your parentals? Fallon, I'm so sorry, queen. Your children, your children. Where's Charles? Oh my God. Oh, okay. First of all, Cambridge won. They're cheering her on. <laughs> Parenting, discipline, strict. Yell at for fighting. Same thing with Felix, too. I can't believe they just got into a 
fight. Discipline recent behavior. Yell at for B. Why doesn't he get in trouble for fighting? It was because Cambridge started it, isn't it? Cambridge 100% started that fight. What happened? I like that they literally kind of just brushed it off after. Like, it was like a tuffle. A, a kerfuffle? It was like a sparring match, basically. Charles, I thought you were in the house. Are you just now arriving? Can you please discipline your children too? Don't leave it up to just Fallon. He's bored! He's bored? Will you be bored after I tell you what your child just did? Discipline recent behavior. Tell not to be mean. Would they both yell at that? Well, it's too late now. Oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. And JC's first time here too. I mean, that's gotta... If you already don't like kids and then you see that... Oh, oh, there there it is. Ew. Children. What? Children. Just put some Sims on edge. What was that other one? What does that say? Ugh, toddlers. <gasps> These despicable wretches are even worse than their other counterparts like bipedal rats. That, that is so rude. <laughs> is this what they actually think of the children? Oh my god. Okay, I can't figure out how to get him to introduce, so I'm gonna introduce- Well, you know what? Let's have the parents introduce themselves to him because I don't think I can have them do that because they're so famous. Kellen's all fancy in his uniform. Maybe we should have them all sit and eat. It is dinner time right now. Oh my god, meanwhile, look at Caspian talking to Vincent. Vincent's kind of shy. So I, I feel like maybe he like wanted to be in here and the Caspian was like, it's okay, dude. You know, I'm a bit of a loner too. That's so cute. Okay, Kellen, introduce, introduce yourself to JC. I love Benji just doing zoomies around. Friendly introduction, and JC should already know Alice May. Alice May's wearing some darker colors right now. Polite introduction, I guess. Yeah, so she's wearing some darker colors. JC should already know Alice May. Yeah, uh, and then I don't think he's gonna be able to introduce himself to the others, so maybe can... See, this is the situation where I'm like, can you... I know it's a thing. I know that you can introduce people to others because I've seen it before. I, I think I just don't know where it is because now everything's kind of confusing. Okay, but he's still feeling all this stuff, but he's also feeling confident from the cool lineage. Let's just, um, let's call everyone to the meal. Ah, Diana, Abraham, Samuel, so cute. I invited Ava too, I don't know where she is. Who else are we missing, is that? Pretty much it, Samaria's here. Yeah, Samaria's up here, now talking to uh, no, Heya. Ocean should be here. Ocean's probably turning into a child fairly soon too. Definitely during the time skip. Oh, I found Ava. Hello. All right, she did, she did decide to show up. I was debating changing Cedric's hair, but I think I'm just gonna keep it for now, and then it'll change after the time skip. Benji is all pooped out from zooming. Look, y'all. <laughs> I love dogs. I love little cute dogs. Benji's adorable. I, this is stop. This is the cutest thing ever. He's all pooped out from the amount of times he was running around in the past like 10 minutes. Okay, I can't just stare at him and watch him sleep. That would be a very boring episode. Where are y'all going? There's literally tables and chairs over here. Oh my god. Oh, JC! Why are you angry? None of your moodlets are angry. What the heck? Oh my god. Wait, he's a moodlet for the dog. Wagga 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 from being silly. The world is so funny. That's adorable. JC, why are you in here? I mean, Cedric's in there too, but is he like avoiding the children? Why are you angry? Should I have William try to calm him down? Discuss expanding the family. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, if he's in here and now William's like, wait a second, you don't like kids? Is that why you're in here? All right, try to calm down. William's trying to calm down, Jay-Z. I feel like he's asking what's wrong. Cedric, your time will come in just a sec, honey. Like, literally right after this. Why don't you join the fam? Oh my god, Megan came in here too. She's like, why? <laughs> why are y'all? Oh my god, they're flirting with each other in front of William's mother. That's kind of, it's an awkward encounter, obviously. Oh my goodness. And now, now JC's tense from the children near him. Okay, so we need to talk about this. Let's, you know, wait, maybe you should wait till your mother goes away, but deep thoughts. Okay, ask if JC wants children. Be like, wait, so you don't want kids? Don't mind Ava in the background. I don't think I want kids at the moment. He hates children. I don't think he wants kids ever. Oh my gosh, yeah, hates children lesson. JC hates children. The some fear parenthood. Loathe the presence of children and become happy from being mean to younger folk. 
Oh my god. Um, that might be an issue, and it looks like William realizes it's an issue. He gets happy from being mean to children? Oh, hi, Kellen. Oh my god, okay, well now they're arguing. This is a problem! You know, it's fine if you don't want kids, but being happy from yelling at a child? He gets happy from being mean to a child? How messed up is that? <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing! Was, it, was he mean to the children? And did, like, I don't know, I feel like this is an issue. Like, if William's like, like, you don't want children. Like, I, I want children. Maybe that's like a we'll talk about it later sort of thing. But if he's getting happy from being mean to a child, maybe he's just like super showing disgust. No win scenario from both sides losing an argument. Why can't they understand? No amount of logic and passion could move your foe. We're gonna take this outside. Ava, what the heck? That was not the time. Okay, chat here. We're, we're gonna we're gonna take this outside. Uh, this is really awkward that this was right in front of your dad. Like your dad saw this, your step. Grandma? Yeah. <laughs> Your step-grandma saw this. Is JC following you, though? Like, JC! JC, you need to go talk to William. This might be a problem. It's okay if you don't want kids. Like, some of the royals are not having kids. But, like, William's such a family guy. He wants kids. And JC hates them! What are JC's thoughts here, though? He also has the no-win scenario and then the toddler's thing. Child-free zone away from children. The stress is just about to go away. Y'all, I don't think this is gonna work out! <laughs> <gasps> oh my god. Should they just break up? Let me know what y'all think. And maybe we'll make a decision in the next episode. But like, I didn't know. Okay, this sounds so stupid. But like, I didn't know that if they had the hate children trait that they would hate children so much. <laughs> I figured it meant they didn't want kids. And they don't like being around them or something like that. But like, being happy from being mean to a child. I, ca I, ca I can't get over that. Maybe JC is like, are you sh are you sure you want kids? And William's like, I mean, I th I'm pretty sure. I think so. Relationships are going down. They're having an offensive conversation. I mean, they've been dating for... A while. Oh my god, he's got the no. No, JC. He's not feeling this anymore. You wait. Okay. They've been dating for a while. I don't think they would make a decision like tonight after just finding out this information. I'm sure they've gotten like a little bit of arguments before. I feel like it's normal for a couple, but like this is a big deal. Oh my god, he's not into it. He had the cross out of William too. All right, y'all tell me what you think in the comments. I think we're gonna move on to Cedric. All right, we are now back at school with Cedric. This is like his first week here. I don't think it's his first day, but it's his first week. Also, I don't know if y'all realize, but my UI is a little bit weird. I updated my UI cheats and apparently it's something else that's causing it. So if you see like weird looking stuff, fear of death. Oh my, is that on? What? Cedric, why do you have so many fears? Fear of death, fear of swimming, fear of unfulfilled dreams. Oh my God. Picky eater, high self-esteem, relatable, cheerful art lover. I, oh my God. Okay, also apparently it's school spirit day and I, Cedric, did not get the memo. Yes, sir. Uh, he's supposed to be, they're supposed to be in his uniform. Is it because it's the first week back? Is that why? These aren't even the school colors that they're supposed to be. The school colors are supposed to be black and gold, but everyone's wearing like red, white, and blue. All right, Cedric's the only one not. Everyone is on their freaking phone. Okay, y'all, the last thing that happened, I'm pretty sure, was the whole thing with Sterling, and then I think Cedric went back to school after that, but then his mom died and he just never came back to school, so this is like his first week back. So I can imagine everyone was like whispering, like, oh my God, he's back, do we say something? And now I'm so curious what his relationship with everyone is going to be. So right now it's a free morning period. There's supposed to be more kids in the clock. Okay, like who else is here? Do we get, is, is Chelsea, you're not a student. I don't know who you are, I didn't invite you. I handpicked and crafted who is going to be in their class and um, the people that I wanted to be are not here. So I don't know how much school we're going to do in this academic adventures because now I want to have a party so he can talk to everyone because apparently he can't talk to everyone at school. Let's get through class, get through the day. We're seeing Tally again. Describe apocalypse. The apocalypse of what's been going on at his house. Oh my god, wait, who are you about to talk to? Wait, wait, is he in a, he's in 
in a conversation with Chelsea? Where is Chelsea? Oh my god, Chelsea, of course. Why is Chelsea talking to Nora? Him and Chelsea don't have a good relationship. But now I wonder if things are gonna change. You know, Cedric, friendly introduction, snooty introduction. Let's let's do it. Y'all know each other. But now he's like reintroducing himself, I guess. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, snooty introduction. Manners going down. Wow, that didn't face Chelsea at all, really. She is, does she still want to be friends with Cedric? What does Cedric want? Admire art, look on, look at the bright side. Oh, that means a whole lot more after his mother died. Plant a stink capsule and locker. Oh, okay. All right, Cedric's like kind of just talking to Chelsea. Oh my God, is he gonna like be friends with her now? Is he just like after everything, just like F it all, I don't care anymore. This is gonna be interesting. Okay, well, you know what? Let's have Chelsea. She's inviting him to a party. She's inviting him to a party after school. I promise people in school don't just party all the time. This is just the only way to get people to socialize in the sim. <laughs> He's mostly, oh my God, he just high five Chelsea. Maybe that's him saying yes to the party. I don't know if I like where this is going, but I'm also super interested. All right, okay, he's hugging Tally though. She's like, I heard, I heard you're going to the party. Why? Like, I don't even want to go to that. And Cedric's like, you can go if you want. I don't, I, I, is this gonna put a riff in him and Tally's? relationship like tally doesn't like chelsea and all of them let's we'll, we'll have them get through the day i'm gonna play through the day of school okay so cedric's end of day report he impressed his teachers and learned a lot today so that's good honestly i didn't think he was gonna do that great i think he's gonna skip drama he's in the drama club but we're gonna skip that and also i changed my mind so i don't Okay, we won't do a party this episode. Maybe we'll do a next episode. I just feel like I'm like, wait, you know what? We, we do a lot of parties. So <laughs> let's change up the scene. Let's go. Let, we're, we're gonna hang out though. So we can see all the Sims. They're kind of just like a bunch of them going. Let's go to the boba shop. We haven't been, or, or wait, hold on. There's the fair too. <gasps> Ooh, let, let's go, let's go to the carnival. Okay, so we're, we're at the park, but we're about to go to the carnival. Where is it? Okay, let's, let's bring everyone to the carnival. I'm about to show y'all, but this is a weird group. Sit together. We have our popular girls, our popular clique, Chelsea, Tiffany, and Penny. And then we have Chelsea's brother, Colin. And then we have Nora and Cassidy. So I invited Nora because she was talking with them earlier and I feel like Cassidy's only here because her and Nora kind of have a little bit of a crush on each other. And then I invited Tally and she didn't show up. So, um, I, it sounds like she didn't want to go. I really don't think she can stand, like, Chelsea and all of them. And I don't think she understands, like, why Cedric's hanging out with them either. So what is the deal here? Like, you and Colin have a little bit more of a friendship going on. You haven't talked much since, you know, everything happened, like, a semester ago. It looks like Colin and his sister Chelsea are kind of gossip. Oh my god, Tiffany. Girl. I mean, that's actually pretty impressive. I'm not gonna lie. I'm surprised that she could do that. I was kind of expecting that to fall in her face. Do you not have any relationship with Tiffany? A snooty introduction. We'll see if she likes that. Queen Amira, she's watching over him. Oh my God. Okay, well that just, you know. Why are you yelling at Tiffany? Your manners fell out of range to earn the good manners traits. Cedric, impersonate mermaids. Oh my God, are they asking? Oh, these girls would totally want to be mermaids. Are they asking about what the mermaids of Sulani are like? They're like, didn't your sis? I feel like there's so many rumors that Alice May may have dated Kaleo. Like they're really not sure. It, I mean, they didn't, but like, I feel like, you know, the gossip around the world, like they, they think that they might have dated. So they're like, didn't your sister date like a mermaid? And it, Cedric knowing what Kaleo's done is like, no, but we know them. Oh my god, what is the yelling? <laughs> She's embarrassed. Penny's embarrassed. Maybe she asked that. Maybe she like said, didn't your sister date the Zulani prince? And he's like, no. And she's like, oh. <laughs> but they were asking about mermaids and then he was just impersonating the mermaids. And where did Chelsea and Colin go? Oh, they're over here. Are they plotting? Hello, Naya. Are you? Is that Kanda? Hi, Kanda. Oh my god, do I don't think you know her. Have you met her? You might have met her. Like, oh, you're my sister's friend. Is she sad? Mock sadness. 
Wait, why is she sad? Oh, it doesn't say. Oh, Kanda, what's going on? Maybe we should revisit that in the next episode. Kanda, what's wrong? Okay, well, we'll see you in the next episode, I promise, okay? Tiffany's mad. Benny is embarrassed. <laughs> There's a lot of teenage emotions going on here. Oh, Cedric and Colin are talking to each other. Wait, is he fan girling over Cedric? What are your... What's the sentiments? What do, what do you what do you think? Oh my god! Whoa! Crush? Colin's sentiment. He has a crush on Cedric, but they have a stole? My partner? Wait! What? Colin slept with a sim who was in an exclusive relationship with Prince Cedric at the time. What a couple. Wait, so he definitely did? I didn't know this was on here. Oh my god. Wait, he slept with him and now he's got a crush on him. Did he sleep? with Cedric. Did he sleep with Sterling so he could break them up and then therefore like get with Cedric? I feel like that's the wrong way to do it. Wouldn't you want to do it the other way around? Wouldn't you want to like what? Oh my god. Wait, so is it confirmed? Did he? Did he? Did he and Sterling? But Cedric is like fine. With Honestly, y'all, maybe he like just doesn't give a crap anymore. Maybe he's like partying with these people is getting my mind off of things. Yeah, they did something shitty in the past. Oh, well, now he's now he's yelling at him, so maybe not. Oh, oh, now he's hurt by like one. <laughs> what did you say, Cedric? This is so messy. What a racket. But like, I feel like messy is what we're about to get. Like, I feel like that's the way to go here you know? Oh my god, Shen is here! Hey! Well, oh, that's so funny. Oh, someone from our class. He wasn't in the group, but he's here. He's like, oh, maybe he's just... No, don't flirt in the group conversation! Stop it! Okay. Davey, hi. You... Oh my god, they already have a romantic relationship. He flirted once and I exited it out. I guess he's trying to look at the bright side, but just like, what? Gonna forget what Colin did? Because what he did was, was horrible! Hi, Cornelius! <laughs> I love seeing our other royals here. Cordelius, are you, like, spying? Who's this random woman you're talking to? You know what? So, we had a charity stream, and we raised $425 for Palestinian Children's Relief Fund, which, very, very happy we were able to raise that. Um, but one of the incentives was for Corn Farm to have another kid, so they will be having another kid. So maybe he's meeting with another surrogate. Like, it's gonna be the uh, same as Vivian's donor, which was Ellis's distant cousin. But maybe the surrogate that they had before, like, isn't doing that anymore. So they're, they're talking to another professional surrogate. So that's who he's meeting with, and Ellis is on his way. Maybe. I don't know. I just wanted to create a little story there. Hi, Umar! You're just married, and you're married to Minerva, and I feel like Cedric's a no use, so we're gonna do a friendly introduction. I'm getting so distracted. But yeah, okay, so him and Colin have a romantic relationship now, suddenly. Final grades. Okay. That's not that's bad, you know? What, what, what's the D? Is it D's get degrees or is it C's get degrees? <laughs> Maybe Gatsby is just struggling a little bit right now, which is fine. You know what? You, yeah, he, I, I, I think his grades were always really good, but you know, there's a lot going on and it's okay if your grades aren't the best at, at any point. Plus, I don't think he necessarily needs this stuff. You are still staying at home. Oh my God, there's so many people here. How about this? Why doesn't Colin ask Cedric to ride, romantic ride with Cedric. And let's see how this goes. You're talking to Davey? Oh, Davey's pl- Ooh! Davey! Oh, he's okay. It's not great. You know, maybe he'll get better. Okay, okay, all right, they're riding. They're, they're going on the- they're going on the- the love ride? What do you call it? Romantic ride. They're going on a romantic ride. Oh my god, wait! Hopeless romantic! Colin had anticipated the cuddle cards to be romantic, but he didn't realize the effect it would have on Prince Cedric. With flushed cheeks and a coy smile, Prince Cedric looks like he might want to take the next step into a relationship. What? He closes his eyes and leans towards Colin. Could it be that Prince Cedric is leaning in for a smooch, or is he just resting his eyes as a reprieve from all the sights and sounds of the attraction? Colin has to make a choice. Does he commit and meet Cedric halfway, or does he pull away and try to de-escalate the situation? I think Colin would go for a kiss. Is Cedric trying to kiss him? Colin decides the risk is worth it and closes the gap between the potentially expected Prince Cedric's success. Prince Cedric was definitely thinking the same thing and the two have a lovely kiss that could be potentially the start of something really special. <gasps> um... Okay. 
well, I think this is a good place to end the episode. Um, I guess in the next episode, we're gonna revisit this situation. I don't know. I'm like, are they in a relationship now? Like, what is the thing? Why is Cedric doing? I feel like Cedric's trying to get his mind off of things. Like, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'm so curious. Like, what? Where do we go from here? This this can't be like a real romance thing. Also, William and JC are are things aren't going well, and something very important for the future is something that they don't agree on. So we're gonna have to figure out what they decide to do in the next episode. Oh, also, guys, this is the first video that's come out since um I got engaged. I announced it on my community post. Um, Jake and I are engaged now. Um, uh, my friend made a little cute video. If you want to see it, I'll link it below. Anyway, if you enjoyed enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.